Hi guys, Mike Dyson with Marine Max in San Antonio. Just got back from water testing a uh, 2022 Dargle 250 HDX Cat. Pretty excited to bring this to you. This is actually kind of a preview. This boat we're looking at is actually sold. That's very similar to one that will be here very soon that's actually unsold and available. The stock number is 181292. That particular boat that is available is basically set up identical to this with the exception of it's going to be a solid white hull without the battleship accent on the bottom but i'm doing black aluminum so all the aluminum t-top work all the custom leaning post and the wade ladder will be black and it will have a black power pole and a black 350 mercury burrato interior color and everything will be the same but uh, basically all white exterior but all the aluminum is going to be blacked out also doing black canvas on the t-top. It's gonna to be a really sharp boat. Kind of a preview of some of the features it'll have. It'll be option-wise, just like this, other than color. Of course, the 250 Cats, known worldwide for amazing rough water ride quality. When I ran the boat um, yesterday afternoon, we had sustained probably 20, 25 mile an hour winds. Very, very dry, never got any water sprayed on us. Very smooth, and with the 350 Verado, this boat will boogie. Pretty excited about it. Custom coastline trailer, of course, included. It's your nice custom ladder back here. Atlas jack plate. Underwater lights will be included. Power pole, as I mentioned. Again, black 350 with black power pole. All blacked out aluminum. Let's go on board and check this thing out. Here we are on board the Dargle 250 HDX Cat. Bow lockers with the... Uh, dual lids all stainless hardware of course great place to store life jackets any gear you want uh, out of the way notice those hinges will allow the door to look lay completely flat so you're not putting the pressure on the hinge people love how much bow space for fishing 250 250 hdx cat has again that catamaran design being eight and a half feet wide front to back offers a ton of room up here as you can see, we've done the optional raised platform. We've increased the fuel tank size to 72 gallons. With that raised platform, we actually pick up a huge third live well. Live wells are plumb for fresh water recirculating, as well as the pro air system. Again, all stainless hardware. Second live well here. In a console storage box. Can't ever have too much storage for small items that you just need to get to quickly, but don't want to take up a lot of space. Plenty of rod holders. Built in check it stick. Pop up cleats. I had an extra cleat in the middle of the boat as an option just to uh, give you a way to run a drift sock there if you'd like. I do optional cup holders on the T top here. It's a five by seven T-top. All your lights included, of course. Garmin uh, nine inch, flush mounted. Nice clean look, easy to read, easy to operate. With the Brado, you'll pick up digital power steering and digital throttle and shift, as well as smart craft gauges. Nice big ice chest built into the console here so you can keep your food and drinks separate from uh, whatever you have in your regular ice chest. Keep your fish from making your soda slimy. Tilt wheel of course. Custom leaning post with uh, dual split foot rest here as well as optional arm rest which gives you a nice secure feeling when you're running down the, down the bay. Large enough for a good size cooler there so again plenty of cooler storage on board. Boat's rigged with a dual battery system. AM, FM, Bluetooth stereo, of course. Power pole controls there. Easy access to your fuel tank. Again, upgraded to the 72 gallon, which is nice. So I have plenty of room in the back of the boat. Have the optional uh, uh, extra rod holders back here. So if you are gonna do some trolling offshore, you've got some pretty handy rod holders there. Obviously it can be used for any kind of rod, not just trolling. Access to our third live wells under these this hinge right here nice and deep again all of them plumbed 
for recirculating water in addition to the pro air system. Once again, this boat is spoken for, but I have the other one that will be here very shortly. I'm here in some wait times on custom boats like this up to and over two years. So you don't have to wait that long to get a really great quality boat that will perform amazing in shallow water, handle rough water incredibly well. Just a great platform to fish off of. Don't delay though, call me, uh, Mike Dyson, 210-347-5768. Look forward to getting you on the water.